refractive bladder is the topic of our discussion today. Here we will talk about dry and wet bladder pore activity. Also, I will explain the urodynamic of pore active bladder, including dry and wet bladder pore activity. What is meant by pore active bladder? Pore active bladder, also called OAB, is a condition that causes sudden urge to urinate that may be hard to control. There might be a need to pass urine many times during the day and night. What is urinary urgency? If the bladder squeezes or contract without any warning, it gives a patient little or no time to get to the toilet. This is called urinary urgency. If the need to pass urine is so intense that a patient cannot hold on to it, it can lead to involuntary leakage of urine, which is called urgency urinary incontinence. What is urinary frequency? Urinary frequency means the need to pass urine often and more frequently than usual and in small volumes. The number of times people normally have to pass urine each day varies. It can be 6 to 8 times per day or 4 to 10 times per day. Normal urinary frequency depends upon several factors. Overactive bladder can also cause a patient to get up more than twice per night to pass urine. That is called nocturia. The causes include OAB, disturbed nights and urinary bladder problems or the urinary tract problems other than OAB. Here we have three day bladder diary. I will make a separate video to explain it in detail. This is urodynamic showing detrusor overactivity. On the top, we have maximum urinary flow. Next come the electromyelography. Next come the detrusor pressure, the vesicle pressure, abdominal pressure, and the maximum volume a bladder can hold. In contrast, in urodynamic stress incontinence, there is a rise in P abdomen and P vesicle with a leak. In detrusor overactivity, there is rise in the pressure of the detrusor and pressure of the vesicle plus minus leak. Now, how to reach the, to the diagnosis? When we have detrusor overactivity with incontinence, there is a rise in P detrusor and P vesicle plus minus leak. In case of the urodynamic stress incontinence, there is a rise in pressure of the abdomen and pressure of the vesicle with a leak. When we have detrusor overactivity with a sensory urgency, there is a rise in uh, pressure of the detrusor and vesicle plus minus sensation of urgency. What is the difference between the dry and wet detrusor overactivity? There are two kinds of overactive bladder. One without urge incontinence, which is called overactive bladder or the dry bladder, and that affects two-thirds of the sufferers. The second one is overactive bladder, which is wet bladder, which includes the symptom with the urge incontinence, leaking or involuntary bladder voiding. Here we have urodynamic graph of overactive bladder, which is the dry bladder. Detrusor. This is urodynamic graph of overactive bladder, wet detrusor, which include the symptom with the urge incontinence, meaning leaking or involuntary bladder widening. How is overactive bladder treated? First of all, we need to change the drinking habits. There are a number of drinks that may irritate the bladders, such as tea, coffee, hot chocolates, freezy drinks, and different types of teas. Second step is that of the bladder training. The purpose of bladder training is to help a patient regain control over the overactive bladder by suppressing its contractions. It is important to note that bladder training takes time and needs a patient full commitment as it can take up to three months to show any benefit. So overactive bladder is basically treated by first of all lifestyle changes such as fluid restriction or modification, bladder training for six weeks, pharmacology by using these drugs like oxybutynin, which should be avoided in old frail lady because of uh, intolerable side effects. The second line, uh, the first line is that of the tolterodine, second is that of the uh, darifenacin. After uh, taking the drugs, there should be face-to-face -face review after four weeks. Botulinum toxin is also very effective. It should be prescribed after appropriate discussion in MDT. 100 international units of botulinum toxin A is prescribed according to NICE and review is done after 6 months. 
The surgical options include least invasive choices like posterior tibial nerve stimulation and uh, the second choice would that be dorsal sacral nerve stimulation. The invasive surgical options include augmentation cystoplasty and urinary diversions. If you have any question in your mind, write in the comment section. Subscribe on Opsangani. Allah Hafiz.